think it's just I just think it's his choice. You know, he he just some you know some people are writers, some are writers or some painters are are just intrigued by a certain light, and his light happens to be very fiery and dark and slightly foreboding. I'd wreck it everywhere, um, looking, uh, were there cities where I could shoot this film, where I could add little bits and pieces and make it look, you know, futuristic. I decided the most practical thing to do was to go into the, into the back lot of Warner Brothers and take their existing back lot sets and retrofit them. Because I figured, again, that was the first step in making a decision about the way the world seemed to be going, which was deterioration. Because they didn't really understand what I was doing, because I have discovered that during the process of the way I work, that I work unconventionally. It isn't, to anyone, to me, it isn't unconventional, it's normal. And I think that, that was one of the big pro problems, was they wondered what on earth I was doing. The Rukahara death scene in Blade Runner, I think, is a, is a really very exciting and very well, well-crafted piece of cinema. To be quite honest, I think it's one of the most brutal scenes in cinema that I can remember without it actually being that violent because of the power of the, because of the power of, power of performance and because of the power of the atmosphere surrounding the characters. I always thought that Rutger Hauer and he have, there was a similarity, there was a connection there that I've never really seen in any, any of the other characters that he's, that he's worked with. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? There's a definite intensity to that character that I, I've seen in, in my dad when he gets angry at home and it's like, ah, hide, run for cover. Yeah, but he, um, I think it's a lot to do with, I think, they have the similar mannerisms. I mean, uh, they always do this. I think that there's, you know, it's evident in, in Ridley's movies and my movies, especially in Blade Runner, there's a darkness. And the darkness, I think, we, we got from, from the northeast of England, the darkness in terms of character darkness. I mean, it's a, it's a healthy darkness, yeah. Um, but the northeast, in terms of it, is a, a, it is a dark and industrial area. So if you look at Blade Runner, it's continually raining. In the northeast, when we're growing up, it's continually raining. Black dog is a term that my father uses to describe darkness. It's a symbol for inactivity and depression and. Oh my God, I've got to get on with something, I've got to get on with something. And it, it, he says, he, he actually describes it as something that looms over his shoulder. It's always there in, the, in his corner of his eye, this black dog that drives him forward. So the faster he runs, the harder it is for the black dog to keep up with him. <laughs> <laughs> 